Hey YouTube, uh, this is Sambo Ratchet. Um, I am a YouTuber, I do music and stuff like that through FL Studio, and I put it up and try and get noticed. I'm still progressing a lot with it, but today I'm going to show you how to make a cool YouTube background with the new YouTube layout. Uh, the December 2011 layout, 2000, yeah, uh, December 1st to December 2nd. It's been kind of on and off, there's been, you know, you can go on another person's computer and it's still the old layout. I don't really know when it's fully done, it, to me it looks like it's fully done now. But uh, this is my background and I'm just going to show you how I did it and I'm also going to give you guys a template for it. Uh, now I'm going to use a, an online photo editor which is exactly like Photoshop. There's, I mean, hardly any difference whatsoever. Um, and it's called Pixlr, uh, P-I-X-L-R dot com slash editor. Um, or just Pixlr and it'll, it'll bring you to the editor anyway. But, uh, so here I'm going to open up the template that I'm going to give you guys. It's made specifically for the new background. And you can see I'm opening up a Photoshop file, um, a Photoshop project file. Uh, Pixlr can directly open that stuff. It does take a second to open it, but so does Photoshop too. So, um, once it opens up, you'll see that I have uh, this, the new center console thing uh, laid out for the new YouTube background. It's a little wider, the dimensions are a little bit bigger. There's also a menu bar right here and uh, your header bar right there. Um, you can see the features in the, the header bar. Now, I put these there just because um, when I was playing around with it, I didn't know if I wanted mine to line up directly under it or line up above it. I didn't know where I wanted it to line up. So, um, but I put that there for reference because I'm sure some people would want theirs to be below the this bar right there and stuff. But anyway, so uh, also you'll see that I have uh, shading around here for you guys too. That's more or less to account for larger monitors, widescreen monitors, um, anything like that. Because I've noticed, uh, you know, through playing around with different size monitors on my stuff, I wanted it to be where everybody could see it. And when I looked at smaller non-widescreen monitors, uh, they looked uh, huge, first of all, but uh, when you go to like a, a big 40 inch widescreen TV monitor, um, this would actually cut off and it would be the, the color that you choose for your YouTube background. And so it would look kind of weird because you could have a blue um, background and then it would just be like black, you know, and it, there's no fade. The fade makes it constant and looks great. Um, so anyway, um, most people do like their name uh, next to the... Um, the center thing here, and I'll show you how to do that in Pixlr. Same as Photoshop, if you ever use it, there's a text tool, you can move it around um, however you want. Now the only difference here uh, between Photoshop and Pixlr is you cannot free transform text. Normally you could just take it and turn it and stuff like that in Photoshop. Um, you can't do that in Pixlr, but I found a workaround. You just create a new layer. All these icons are the same too um, as Photoshop, so if you've played with it, you know it. Create a new layer though, and then just merge down with the text layer. And so now your text is not on its own text layer, it's all in a layer now. You go up to edit and free transform, and you can transform it exactly like you do in Photoshop. So, um, you know, you can place it up right next to it, you can do whatever you want, um, and then you can even... Uh, redo the text and stuff uh, if you need to. I chose a font here that's, I mean, it's not great, but this is just for demonstration. Uh, so, uh, yeah. And if um, if you notice here that I have the, the actual background here, and I have it in the project file too uh, for you guys, but that's just for demonstration, like that's just for you to figure out and eye stuff where you want it to put it, where you want to put it at. Uh, when you go to actually save this to put it on your website uh, or your channel, you want to hide that and save it without that because it will show up if you know you're at the bottom of the page. Uh, sometimes it'll it'll show up the little border that I made will show up down here and stuff like that. So uh, this and you can't get rid of you can't make any of this transparent as far as I can see on the new stuff you used to be able to make all of this transparent and you can make your own sort of uh, fake divs more or less or fake panels and stuff like that out of your colors and then just transparent everything 
but uh, so yeah when you go to save this just hide that and then let's go ahead and save saves just like you normally want on your computer you want to save as a JPEG because YouTube makes you save JPEGs or makes you upload JPEGs only uh, you could do quality as high as you want as long as it's less than 256 kilobytes that was the old size I don't know if that actually if they have a size requirement on it now but uh, I'll go ahead and save this as like new YouTube template tutorial or something you can see I was playing around with other stuff as well uh, yeah so let's go to the YouTube channel uh, you go to your channel through clicking on your name up here and you click on my channel and it'll bring you to where I'm at right now but just to show you uh, and then there's an edit channel button with this new layout uh, you click that and then you come down here and if you have a background already you can delete it and you'll see what color you have here and that's where I was talking about the widescreen monitors comes into play if you didn't have yours wide enough it would, sh it would show the background color if it wasn't already you know black or something uh, so you just choose a file you go to your directory where your stuff is uh, now for this one I choose uh, the new YouTube template tutorial and it'll load up and show you and see for me uh, whenever I was doing it with you guys over here I was actually lining it up with that menu because uh, I wanted it to be below the menu on this one and when you load it up it looks just like that and it actually matches very well with the colors I the color scheme I chose there it already matches very well with YouTube's new default color scheme and it's kind of it kind of looks nice um, now the one thing that might be kind of buggy with this is the avatar thing uh, it always says choose file even if you already chose one I mean I chose one last time I was uploading it 20 minutes ago so um, and it's it says to upload another one again I don't, I don't know I think that's just a bug but once you once you upload it there uh, you can hit done and editing or done editing and then you'll see your new YouTube channel background <coughs> and this is what it looks like now uh, with the new YouTube layout too they have this uh, kind of annoying but I guess it's I mean whatever um, thing down here where it's always going to be down here so you can't just have your page going on forever they cut it off more or less and like I said this is always going to be this color from what it looks like right now they don't have any transparent stuff so the fade into black is okay you can maybe even fade it to white if you decide you want to make it look uniform but I think they have a shader on that as well. But, uh, but yeah, so that's how you make a YouTube background. And I said I'll put the Photoshop template uh, for the new design in uh, the description for you guys to download. Uh, this is Samuel Ratchet. Have a nice day.